there, welcome to this video. Hopefully is one of many more that I do. I tried to start a YouTube channel before, but it didn't work out because I only did three videos, I chickened out, and there wasn't enough content for me to come up with, so I stopped doing it. And that was about a year and a half ago, so hopefully this works. I just, well, it's been two months that we, my husband and I moved to Wyoming, Rollins, and I have had a lot of free time in my hands since it snows a lot and there's not really much to do here. But I am so happy that we're here and it's just been amazing. And I've been able to take the time to start doing things that I love. And one of the things that I love the most is clothes, fashion, sewing, creating, art, and everything that is in that spectrum. So my husband pushed me to keep what I started doing nine years ago when I took two, two years of fashion merchandising. It was just a basic course while I was in high school. And so since then, I haven't done anything. So it's been nine years and finally, I know I'm old. Finally, I've been able to take the time and go back to that time and stage of my life of making things. So I want to share with you some of the things that I make and hopefully explain what I do with them and how I do them so that you in your home can thrift up your closet and recycle the clothes that you have and stop buying so much clothing because I made the mistake. I go to stores and try to purchase items that are $2, $3, and then I have a closet filled with $2, $5 items that I don't even wear. So I wanted to start making clothes and then I researched a lot about what's in and what's not. I watched a lot of videos about fashion currently and I was devastated to learn about how horrible fashion can be for our environment. So I want to make a difference somehow and start creating these thrift up, upcycled items that I have in my closet and don't wear because most of us do that. We buy things because they're cheap and then we don't use them. So this is actually one of the attire, well two, attire that I only bought because they were super cheap and only wore like three or four times. That's serious and I've had for a while. So I wanted to take them and flip them and make them into something different so that I would actually wear. And so I want to take you into this journey of how you can do this and how I did this so that you back at home can look through your closet and figure out what you can thrift up. And then also stop buying clothes from fast fashion stores. Fast fashion is no bueno for the environment. So if you don't know what that is, please research it and maybe I'll do a video about it in the future if I get inspired again about how horrible fast fashion is and why we need to try to eliminate that and try to change what we have in our closet so we don't buy so much, okay? So I want to take you into my creative world realm and tell you step by step what I did to make this. And hopefully I figure out how to put little images over here so that I can take you step by step through how I did this. So first of all, I had a black dress and it was from H&M and I believe it was like $12 because I'm very cheap. So I bought it because I was like, well, I might wear it, only wore it once or twice. The second time I wore it, I remember, was for a Halloween costume, but never again. And then the shirt, I love the sleeves. I love them so much. And I love the shirt, but it was, it was a little too much. So I 
decided to use these two and combine them. And I still have the other parts, so I'm gonna figure out what to do with the other parts of them. So this is what I did first. First, I cut the sleeves off of the other shirt or of the button down shirt. I cut them off because of, there was a seam on them. So then I cut that seam off and then I cut the sides a little bit and I ironed them. So that's what I did first. Then this shirt had a collar that was super long and you could tie a bow like right here. So I took that off and then decided to make it into a cute little belt where you can tie in the back. So I cut that off and then I went to the dress, cut the sides, the sleeves off on both of them and then cut the bottom. After that, I took the dress and I cut it off the top part because it was like the top was to the waist and then came the uh, pencil skirt. And so I took that off, I cut that off and I then started sewing. I sewed because there's a lining. So there's a lining on the back of this top, this black top. So I cut, when I cut the sleeves, I started sewing the lining to the raw material, or I guess the top material. And I sewed it just so that it was intact once I sewed the sleeves to the top. And then I also made a seam, or I guess I sewed the, top to the to the lining and so it would be easier to connect to the bottom as well and then i zigzagged the bottom as well so that it didn't fray because this material frays a lot apparently and so make sure that you sew this like so to so that's what i did i sewed the top to the bottom the lining and then I zigzagged it. Then I found the middle of the top. So I folded it and found the middle and then found the middle of the belt, now to be, instead of a collar. And I lined them up to middle to middle. And then I started pinning them from one side to the other and one side to the other on the other side. And then I sewed them as well and then um, zigzagged stitched them as well so that they wouldn't fray so like that sorry my chubs and then i did the sleeves so i sewed them like i sewed the bottom and then i zigzagged them so they wouldn't fray and that was it that is how i got this look and i'm obsessed with it i love it I love the polka dots and then the top. And it also, I don't know if you can tell, but the top has like this wavy kind of finish to it. So it's super cute, super fancy. I can't wait to wear it. And also I wanted to incorporate the styles that 20, or I guess trends that 2020 had. And one of those styles, well actually two, is the big poofy sleeves and polka dots. Polka dots of all sizes. And so because I knew, well, I, because I had researched about these fashion trends, I wanted to make sure that I was also trendy. And you could do this too. Just find things that you already had that come back, because I'm in fashion comes back all the time. Hopefully I get inspired more to do these videos because I want to teach you how easy this could be and how much money you could save as well if you just thrift up the clothes that you had before and make them something new and hopefully you learned something if you want more videos or if this was helpful I'm gonna go and say it you can comment below and like this video so that I can make more and I can be more inspired because I know that someone's looking at my videos and not just me 
speaking into the abyss and having cars pass through and look at me like I'm crazy because I'm recording myself, just me, myself, and I. So yeah, just let me know if you like this and hopefully these little images work so that I can show you what I look like after. Thank you so much and hopefully see you next time.